Okay, so this is uh, part two on my Tuesday daily vlog. I am doing my eyeshadow right now. Um, this is Get Ready With Me Tuesdays. Get Ready's With Me probably will keep going till Fridays. Um, and that's about it. And then I get my break on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, okay, so, I am doing my eyeshadow with, I'm doing silvery shades, if you guys have not seen part one, please go watch that one, because that tells you what's going on with my job, well, it's not my job yet, but I put in an application, so. Uh, if you guys been following what's been going on, I can't wait to have uh, our own place. We want it to be cheap, but we also want a four bedroom. So then that way I can have my beauty room and Kevin can have his Xbox room because that's why I mainly do my videos during the day when he's not home. It's such a pain in the butt when he's home. Um, that's an eyelash. Girl, that, that eyeshadow is on fleek. I love my eyeshadows. It's just sad. I'm sad to see it go, though, but it needs to go. I can't wait for it to go start buying, which I will be going to Ross. I will be going to... I want to go back to 5 and below before I leave. Um, that's why... That's where I bought my... Well, Two palettes that are in um, my project pan because I got I've had those for a while now. Let's do the eyeliner. Okay, it's time for eyeliner. Come on. Um, I've made major progress in my in these palettes. I can't believe I started a project pan in the middle of June, in 2019. Which is okay, because you can start them anytime. And women do these a lot because guess they want to rotate, but I think I found a way to rotate my makeup. And whatever I do say, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. It's just the fact that I don't see paying $30 for an eyeshadow palette when you get a perfectly good one for $10. For ten bucks. Going for that bold look apparently. And on top of that. I'm not dissing on, I wish I could afford to, I wish, honestly, I could, like, get, like, Too Faced and all them. Because they look like really good creamy products. Like, they are really good creamy products. I've been into Sephora. It's just the price. I can't make myself do it. But it is every girl's dream to be that way. So, I, on the other hand, 
cannot see myself. I can't. I just, I really can't. I would honestly have what's called buyer's guilt. Dude, I have buyer's guilt every time I run out of money. So, I'm just probably going to ask for money for Christmas. Or my birthday, too. Then that way I can just start saving up till I actually need, like, I, till I'm, like, actually needing stuff. And that'll be my makeup shopping money. You can do that, right? You can just, like, save up and then go buy, like, a shit ton of makeup. Because you have the money, too. Mm. Okay, so eyeliner is on. Now it's time to clean up this madness. Because this madness is starting to bug me. Huh. Madness. I do want to say, ever since we switched over to the... The swamp cooler, our electric bill is 200 bucks. So we are excited about that because our electric bill has not been the same since. I'm just saying. Um, well, another thing that was bugging us was last year in the summertime. Man, we ran that. It was so hot in here. We ran the... We ran our swamp cooler. Or not our swamp cooler. Uh, we ran our AC. That jumped... That, like, jumped our bill last year to, like, $2,000. And we were like, uh, nope, something's wrong. Sorry. I don't want this too long. Well, that's cute. I like that. So that one's trash. Let me fix this one. That one's also trash. I don't know why that one didn't get to the room yesterday. Um, so. So freaking um so yeah so anyways I'm doing a cute little nub I don't want to use eyeliner because I don't really feel like a big wing today. I need to find my damn, um, what do you call it, my... My, uh... Where you going?
my tape, or I need to go buy some. One of the two. Lotion, lotion on those cheeks. Lotion, lotion everywhere. What am I using on my face? Okay, so I had to put the other lotion back because I found this one. And this one, it's a lot easier to do than use, you know, other stuff. So what I did was I poured some, I found some hand creams. I found anything that was like lotion type. I tried to stick in here. So honestly, um, I have too much stuff. Of I have too much lotion. That's uh, so I've been using this on my legs. My arms and my face. Really big time. I normally do it with my face because my face is so dehydrated. I'm not even kidding. Sorry. Yeah, I was just scratching right here. Um, My face is so damn dehydrated. I don't know what to do for it. All I know is lotion and just keep putting lotion on. But I know on the end, it might be the cause of my breakouts. Like the one on my nose. That one, probably from the stuff. But, I do make sure it's cleaned off and whatnot. Before it's, um, you know. So, anyways. Um, I was trying to tell you guys, talk to you guys about this, I forgot. This is a peach lip oil. Yes, it's peach. It um has peach extract in it, I believe. It does make my lips swell up. But it doesn't give me like a really bad reaction. I think that's because it's mixed in with oil and it does burn a little bit. Um I am allergic to peaches and so is my daughter. And so is my dad. Found that on out too. So yeah, I get a reaction to him. It's like yeah, then you're allergic to him too. So um, that runs on my dad's side. Um, where is the? I need to put on. So yeah, found that one out. Um guys don't know what happened when she was younger we fed her peaches i fed her peaches and she ended up having it's called a delayed action she does have a reaction to peaches but what happens is she ends up in hives and she does have sometimes have a hard time breathing it's happened to her multiple times so we told the family no peaches so oh uh, So, yeah, she, um, she can't have peaches. Accidentally dug the cap in that. Okay, so we are going on 13 minutes, and I have nothing to say. Why? Oh, we are, we are, we've been watching Family Guy. I mean, I watch Four Weddings. That's a good show, right? How many? I don't know what else to say about that. Oh, yeah, I need to put on my eyelashes. Hey, I need to put on your eyelashes, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my eyelashes. So then that way, um, if you guys don't know, I put on my eyelashes every other week. So, which means one week I do, one week I don't give my eyes a break. They have to have a break. So, these last about a week. Um, they're actually coming up. Well, they don't really. Okay, so let me see. If I clean this off, then I can have another use. If the glue does not rip apart the band, which, um, the band holds all the lashes together. Once that happen happens, then you have fallout of lashes, and then it's it's no good. So. Um, 
This will last you a long time if you take care of them. And that's only if the the lash glue, which next week I'm going to have to do that. Because right now it's looking a little gumpy. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this and... This is out of like, um, I had the weirdest dream. Like, I don't know. It looked like we were down in by Universal, and I think, believe they're in LA. I don't know. They're down by Burbank area. And,. So then, me and my husband were spies. Me and Kevin were spies. And my in-laws, my my father-in-law wasn't in there. It was another dude. And my mother-in-law was the bad guy, bad girl. And we all went into, like, this aquarium thing. And... I took care, I was the worker who took care of these animals. And so, I don't know. It. She did something to the glass and she said, ha ha ha, I'll I'll catch you or something. I don't know. It was so freaking weird. Okay, so now it's a light gray, so I'm pretty sure I can put this on my lid now. Oh, where's my mirror? Um, and so after the aquarium, I had to find a place for all the animals. Which I did. And, um, there was one, it was kind of like a killer whale, but it wasn't really quite a killer whale. It was kind of like an alien, um, in a mixture of a whale. And I guess I named her Amy. And she had a kid. She, She killed a kid. Kind of gruesome. Um, And I told her that was a bad girl. So we transported her. And then me and Kevin went into hiding. And we did have Abby. And so she told us that she would find us, and she destroyed the whole city. My mother-in-law destroyed the whole city. I don't know what, what is going on. Uh, I mean, she's just terrorizing the whole city. So, after that, I was like, okay. So, we, we got the animals to safety. We, um... Uh, there was just a lot going on. We were running a lot, and there's barely any talking. Till one point, Kevin said, "Go take Abby to safety." And Abby was running in front of me, and the building blew up. And the girl that was standing right in front of the building she screams I look over and she's just squashed she's just like she was gone and at that point I knew something was wrong so um kind of gruesome it it was a gruesome dream I'm sorry so after that I scream and 
Abby goes, Grandma! <laughs> so I look, Kevin's gone somewhere, and I'm pretty sure I, I couldn't get him on the radio and, and all that stuff. So I see Kevin, like, leaving my family alone. And... And then he tries to come to my rescue, but he ends up dying. Um, I was enraged. I was somehow, my mother-in-law captured me and my daughter and said, Abby, let's go. You know, I was tied up and there was explosive all the way around the room. Can I have a drink? And that was the end of the dream. I'm not even kidding. That's how I ended. I gotta say that was one of the weirdest dreams I've had in my life. Especially about my in-laws. That was just creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. So, um, which in real life, my mother-in-law is not a bad, bad guy, obviously, bad girl, whatever you want to call her, (laughs) her, she's very loving, and she's helped us since, her and my father-in-law has helped us in so many ways, which we are very thankful for. But it kind of scared me there a little bit. So. Just a tad bit. Um, So yeah. Eyelashes are on. We do not have any mascara on yet. Till I get that moon. Okay, so that was the whole dream. Um, technically, my mother-in-law technically killed me and my husband. Um, in a way. So, uh, it's kind of gruesome and kind of like I saw blood. I saw. People die. I saw buildings smash on top of a little girl who just stood there and screamed. It was weird. I I don't know. I just... I mean... Kudos for you, but... It, it was weird. It was just really, really weird. Hey, I should tell you my dreams more often because I've never really told you guys about my dreams. My dreams go cray cray. And it literally went cray cray. (laughs) I'm not even lying about that. Okay, so I'm going to put some more lotion on my face. It was kind of scary in a way. I was running away from my mother-in-law. She killed me and my husband. And she stole our daughter. (laughs) And we were all like, you know how like Superman has uh, a suit? Yeah, we were all in those type of suits, but when we went into hiding, hiding, we didn't have our suits. That was a little scary to me, to be honest. (laughs) So, uh, then I have nightmares like this every single night. So sometimes I actually do wake up from them and sweat, and then I'm at the point where I'm just like, no, like... I cannot fall back to sleep. And 
and I do have PTSD, which I do have, what do you call it? I do have nightmares every night, and I just had to talk about this one, because this one was absolutely berserk. I normally have the same dream. I normally have the same dream over and over and over again. And it's this old mystery house, like this very old mansion. It's like a very, like, like the haunted mansion. That's how spooky it was. It was, it was gray. It was gloomy. It was, um, but at the fence there were, there were gargoyles, like, on the fence. And, um, and so the sign says, welcome back, or welcome to... And then, um, but you will never leave this place. And then, you know, the things that, oh, what's that movie? Gremlins. You know the little gremlins that turn? Well, these were straight up gremlins at night that came and killed you. Like, you never left that place. And... You would always explore, and they would always, like, there was, like, this one thing, if you touched it, it went around in a circle, and it shot you and killed you. It was, it, I don't know what the heck is up with my dreams, but that's my dreams. That is what I deal with on a daily basis. It's the same nightmare. It's, like, nightmare after nightmare, and I think I should just actually just... I think that's why I'm so terrified to fall asleep because I just get nightmare after nightmare and I'm drooling on myself. So that was interesting. Okay, so I am going to do concealer again underneath the eyes. Why do I keep doing that? I did this yesterday too. Why am I doing that? I should be like, just fix the bag. There we go. I have to be careful because there's no stopper in there. Okay, so you guys, I'm at 20 minutes on this video. I'm going to do part three right now. If you guys haven't watched part one, go watch it. Part two, this is just part two on Tuesday's vlog for June 29th or 20, not 29th. Today's the 25th, right? Yes, today's June 25th. So, um... There will be a part three. Oh, really? Obviously, I am so sorry. Anyways, go see that one. The first two videos. Or is this the second one? Oh my god, I have to go look. Oh, I have to let this set anyway. So, I will see you guys here in a minute. Please like and subscribe. And... Welcome to my channel. So yeah, so I just, I just talking to you guys. I do this. I'm gonna start doing this every day. Um, so yeah, anyways. Bye guys.